نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدتا من لساني يفقه قولي واجعل لي وزير من اخلي اللهم فكنا في الدين رب زدني علما اللهم اني اسالك علما نافعا رزقا طيبا واملا متقبلا آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سورہ البروج سورہ ریویلڈ ان مکہ وت 22 ورسز اینڈ ایٹ از دی 85 بائی دی آرڈر آف ارینجمنٹ اینڈ 27 بائی دی آرڈر آف ریولیوشن ایٹ ہیز بین ڈیزائنیٹڈ دی نیم آفٹر دی ورڈ البروج اپیئرنگ ان دی فرسٹ ورس اینڈ اکارڈنگ ٹو دی پیریڈ آف ریولیوشن وی نو دیٹ ایٹ واز سینٹ ڈاؤن ان مکہ ایٹ دی پیریڈ وین دی پرسیکیوشن آف مسلمز واز ایٹ ایٹس کلائمیکس دی پرسیکیوشن دی اوپریشن دی ٹارچرنگ آف دی مسلم کمپینینز آف پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم was reaching its peak and uh, they were they were uh, all the disbelievers of Makkah they were torturing them the new converts they were taught they were being tortured so the basic theme and the the summary of the surah of the subject matter of the surah is to warn the disbelievers to warn the disbelievers of the evil consequences of persecuting and torturing the Muslims. And at the same time, to console the believers. And as Allah has mentioned here, that if you remain steadfast against this tyranny and oppression, you will be rewarded richly for it. And Allah will certainly avenge himself on your persecution on your behalf. So this is like consoling for those who were being persecuted and it is a warning for those who were persecuting actually. <coughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والسماء ذات البروج واليوم الموعود وشاهد ومشهود قتل اصحاب الاخدود النار ذات الوقود by the sky containing great stars and by the promised day and by the witness and what is witnessed cursed were the companions of the trench containing the fire full of fuel when they were sitting near it and they to what they were doing against the believers were witnesses <coughs> And they resented them not, except because they believed in Allah, the exalted in might and praiseworthy, to whom belongs the dominion of heavens and earth. And Allah over all things is a witness. Indeed, those who have tortured the believing men and the believing women and then have not repented will have the punishment of hell and they will have the punishment of burning fire. Indeed, those who have believed and done righteous deeds will have gardens beneath which rivers flow. That is the greatest attainment. Indeed, indeed, the vengeance of your Lord is severe. Indeed, it is he who originates creation and repeats. He is forgiving the affectionate. So in this Surah Al-Baruj, in the initial verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned, <coughs> has mentioned the punishment of all those who were persecuting the believers, all those who believed in the oneness of Allah and the messages of Allah. They were persecuting them by burning them in trenches of fire. Now, what was this all about? There have been several events which have been mentioned in traditions, and they have been narrated in various commentaries of Quran. One of them, uh, one of the events has been reported by Hazrat uh, Suhaib uh, bin Sanan Rumi, who, that he explained that Prophet Sallallahu explained that there was a king and the king has a magician in his court and uh, when he became old he requested the king to appoint a young boy who should learn magic from him so there would be a magician in the court even after his death 
So the king appointed a boy and the boy while going to the magician's place and um, he started, the magician started teaching him all the magic tricks. So this boy, when he used to go to the magician on coming back home, he started visiting a monk. The monk was a believer and a follower of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. And so the young boy, he got influenced by the teachings and he turned into a believer. And so much so that we learn that by his training, he acquired a miraculous powers. He would heal the blind and he would cure the lepers also. Now, when the came, he came to find out that the boy had started believing in the unity of Allah. He first, he put the monk to sword and then he tried to kill the boy. And uh, he found out for his despair that there was no instrument and there was no device which could which could help him kill the boy. So what the boy finally came up and he suggested to the king that if you are bent upon killing me, because the boy had realized that he will be put to death. So, <coughs> so the boy was very wise and he suggested the king that if you are bent upon killing me, then what you need to do is that you need to shoot an arrow at me with pronouncing the words of Bismi Rabbil Ghulam, that in the name of the boy's Lord. And you need to do this in front of an assembly of people. And when you do this and you then try to kill me, then I shall die. So the king who was desperate to kill this, uh, this believer boy, he got collected an assembly of people. And then he ordered exactly to be, uh, to fire the arrow the way the boy had said, pronouncing this phrase. And then what happened was the boy died. But this had a remarkable, a miraculous effect. And all the people who had assembled there, listening to this phrase, Bismi Rabbil Olam, they did what? They cried out that they had affirmed faith on the Lord of the boy. Now, when the courtiers, they told the king, the whole event that how all the people they had forsaken his religion and they had adopted the religion of the boy the king was filled with rage and he got pits dug along the roads and they he used to order that all the people who had believed in the lord of that boy and who had believed in the oneness of allah he ordered that they should be thrown in these pits of fire until and unless they revert back to the religion of the king <clears throat> and this has been reported by Mustafa Ahmad and Muslim. And similarly, another event has been related by Hazrat Ali Rosiallahu Taala, and who uh, that Prophet Sallallahu said that there was a Persian king, and who was uh, immoral and who was an adulterer. But one day when he drank, he was um, all intoxicated, and then he committed adultery with his own sister. And this resulted in an illicit relationship between the two. Now, when the secret came out that the king had committed <coughs> that the king had committed adultery with his sister, the people they started talking against them. And then, what the king do, uh, uh, did was that he asked the scholars of his time to announce that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala had permitted marriage with sisters. Also, when he announced this, the people refused to believe. The people of his nation, they failed, uh, they refused to believe what he was trying to announce and trying to get away with his sin. So when they, uh, the people of the nation, they failed to refuse, then he ordered also that pits of fire be made and all those people who refused to accept what the king and his scholars were suggesting, they would be thrown in these pits of fire. The third event which has been explained was related by Ibn Abbas. The Prophet Sallallahu said that the people of Babylon, the Babylonians had complained, uh, they had compelled the Bani Israel to give up the religion of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. And for compelling them, the Babylonians, they had made pits of fire and they used to throw all those followers of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam who would not convert to the Babylonian religion. <coughs> And another event has been related to Najran. And uh, this has been reported by Ibn Hasham that there was a leader of, uh, <clears throat> uh, there was a king of Yemen and he went to Yathrib. And there under the influence of the Jews of Yathrib, he accepted Judaism. Uh, he accepted just Jewism. And then he would force 
the people from uh, Nijran, they were the Christians and they were the followers of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. And this king of Yemen who had converted to Jewism, he would, uh, he would make fire pits and he would throw those, all those of Christian belief, the believers of Hazrat Isa in, in, uh, in those pits of fire, if they failed to convert to Jew religion. So these were a few incidences which were mentioned <coughs> in this verse. And the purpose was to warn all the persecutors of Makkah that see those people who were persecuted and who were <coughs> <coughs> that all those who persecuted the believers of the previous followers, they have been uh, mentioned as this punishment. So if you do not uh, leave and you do not stay away from persecuting the believers and the Muslims, then you will fade, uh, you will face a similar doom as well. <clears throat> Allah says that he is forgiving and affectionate, honorable owner of the throne, effector of what he intends. Has he reached you the story of the soldiers, those of Pharaoh and Thamud? But they who disbelieve are in persistent denial while Allah encompasses them from behind. But this is an honored Quran inscribed in a <clears throat> inscribed in a preserved slate. Allah has mentioned here the law mehfuz. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us honor the Quran, work for the teaching, preaching, and the implementation of Quran, and help us connect to connect with perseverance with this honorable Quran to the last breath of our, of our life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us read the Quran, understand the Quran, comprehend the Quran, remember the Quran, memorize the Quran, and adopt the orders of a Quran with complete perseverance of our belief. Ya muqallib al-qulubi sabbit qalbi ala deenik. Ya musarrif al-qulubi swarrif qalbi ala tu'atik. Now, I will, without any delay, because I know that we are already running short of time, I have received many requests of your du'as. I have screened them and gone through them. I will not be taking names, but they will all be in my memory and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everybody's requirements and desires and du'as and prayers and supplications and miseries and issues and problems. He is all seeing, he, il he is all hearing, he is all knowing. So with all this, inshallah, let's all raise our hands. Let's all raise our hands and let's all praise our Lord. Let's all beg and pray and seek his forgiveness and his bounties with the belief and with the conviction that our prayers will be raised to his throne, inshallah. With the belief and the conviction that it will be heard, it will be accepted. And it will all be answered, inshallah ta'ala, by his mercy and by his kindness. Now, I will be requesting you to praise Allah and to recite the Darud with me. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah alazim Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah alazim Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah alazim Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin kama sallaita ala Ibrahima wa ala ali Ibrahima innaka hamidun majid Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin kama barakta ala Ibrahima wa ala ali Ibrahima innaka hamidun majid Ya hayyu ya qayyum bi rahmatika nastaghis 
يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وقنا عذاب القبر وقنا عذاب الحشر وقنا عذاب الميزان وقنا عذاب النار ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنقونن من القاسرين ربنا إننا آمنا ربنا إننا آمنا فاغفر لنا زنوبنا وقنا عذاب النار ربنا إننا آمنا فاغفر لنا زنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتذفنا مع الأبرار وتذفنا مع الأبرار اللهم إنك عفو قريم تحب الأف فاحف عنا فاحف عنا فاحف عنا يا رحم الراحمين يا رحمن يا رحيم يا حنان يا منان أو oh الله أو oh الله أو oh the merciful O oh Allah, O oh the merciful, wa ma tawfiqi illa billah. It was with your help, it was with your support, your guidance that we stayed connected. We stayed connected with these sessions. O oh Allah, except from all of us, except, except from all of us, what we heard, what we learned. Help us remember all we learned. Help us remember all we learned with your blessings. Help us comprehend and retain it. Help us believe in it. Help us act according to all the teachings we learned. And keep us steadfast. Keep us all steadfast in our dealings, in our deeds. Allah, help us all stay steadfast. In our connection with Quran, in our connection with Quran till till the last breath of this life, help us reform ourselves, help us correct ourselves, so that you may be pleased with us, so that you may be pleased with us. O oh Allah, O oh Allah, in this month, in this blessed month of Ramadan. Accept, accept all our worships, all our fasts, all the recitations of Quran. May be, may we be out, out of those lucky ones who who will be called from the gate of Rayyan. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, bless us with your mercy and bless us with your count, kindness. Accept our salah. Accept our salah. Our prayers are no doubt very faulty. Are no doubt very incomplete. They are all very broken and very faulty. Allah subhanahu wa taala. Allah bless us. Accept them and bless us with the love of salah. Make salah is the coolness of our eyes, of our souls. Make us one of those who start enjoying prayers. May we develop, may we develop the feeling of meeting our Lord in our salah. Bless us and our offsprings, all of our offsprings, the consistency in salah. Make us. One of those who just don't offer salah but establish salah. Help us establish our salah with perseverance and steadfastness. Rabbi jalli maqim al salati wa min zuriyati. Rabbi jalli maqim al salati wa min zuriyati. Rabbana taqabbal dua. Allah subhanahu wa taala. By your mercy, 
by your blessings, by your kindness. Allah, Allah accept all that was spent by all of us in this month of Ramadan. Accept all the zakat, accept all the supererogatory charities in the path of Allah that all of us spent in this blessed month. Accept all of it from all of us and bless, of, bless all of us with multiple, multiplied rewards. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help us all in the excellence of your remembrance. Bless us all with the excellence of your remembrance. Rabbi aini ala zikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. Bless us with tongues which are supple with your zikr and which are supple with praising you. Bless us with souls which are full of your gratitude. Bless us with body which is patient while obeying you. Bless us with the excellence of gratitude, of reliance, of faith, of belief. Help us perfect our faith and belief. Help us all be patient in your obedience. Allahumma ja'alli sabura wa ja'alli shakura wa ja'alli fi aini saghira wa fi a'yunin nasi kabira. Rabbana sabbit aqdamana. Ya muqallib al-qulubi sabbit qalbi ala dinik. Ya musarrif al-qulubi sarrif qalbi ala tu'atik. O oh Allah, the Magnificent, O oh Allah, the all-knowing, all-seeing, all-hearing. O oh Allah, all-kind and all-merciful, help us all. Help us all control our temper. Help us all control our tongue. Help us and guide us, improve our mannerism, our conducts, our dealings. Help us all refrain from foul and abusive language, forbidden conversations. Help us all purify our hearts. Guide us all to purify our thoughts, our souls and our desires. Allahumma alhimna rushtan. Allahumma alhimna rushdan wa aizna min shuroori anfusina. Allahumma tawahir qalbi min al-nifaki wa amali min al-riyai wa lisani min al-qazabi wa aini min al-khayanati inna ka ta'lamu man khayanati al-aini wa ma tukhfi sudur. Allahumma rahmatika arju. اللهم رحمتك أرجو فلا تكلني إلى نفسي من طرفة عين وأصلحني شأني كله لا إله إلا أنت اللهم آتي نفسي تقواها اللهم آتي نفسي تقواها اللهم آتي نفسي تقواها الله سبحانه وتعالى make us one of the God fearing Bless us all with the fear of Allah. Bless us all with the fear of standing in the coat of Allah. Bear us all. Bless us all with the fear of accountability. Allah, make us all among those who are wise. Make us among those all who are wise and who make preparations for the hereafter. Make us among those who fear the life hereafter, make us one of those who remember the death and who remember the life of hereafter. Allah help us and guide us, remove help us and guide us to remove from our from our hearts the lust and love of this temporary life, of this temporary world. Help us and guide us. 
to strive and struggle for hereafter. Help us and guide us to change our priorities, our preferences. Help us reform and correct ourselves that we may gain your pleasure. That we may gain be we may gain your pleasure. Oh Allah. Oh Allah, you are the merciful. You are the exalted. You are the master of masters. We can just beg from you. We just pray from you. Oh Allah, help our help us all. Help us all, support us all, guide us all. We beg you, we beg you to be kind to our parents. Rabbi rahamhuma kama rabbayani saghira. Rabbi rahamhuma kama rabbayani saghira. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we beg you for the choicest of your blessings for our parents. Our benefactors have mercy on our parents. Have mercy on our parents the way they had mercy and they were kind to us when we were young. O oh, merciful, O oh, merciful Allah, help them, support them, protect them from all forms of worries, all stresses. All illnesses and ailments and weaknesses. Bless them with the best of your blessings here and hereafter. Save them. Save them from any form of dependence. Save yours. Allah, we have reliance in you. We have, we want to be dependent on you only. Keep us and keep our parents dependent of nobody other than you. No one other than you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O Master of Masters, O Rahman, O Rahim, all those whose parents, inclusive of me, all those whose, whose parents are near and dear ones, have passed away. Be kind on them. Be merciful to them. Forgive them all. Forgive their sins. Forgive their sins. Reward them with the best of reward for all their major or minor deeds. Allah, we beg you, be kind to them. We pray, be merciful to them. Bless them with the best of your hospitalities, of your gracious hospitalities. Join them with the righteous. Join them with the prophets. Allahumma fir lahum. Allahumma fir lahum. Warham hum wa afihim. Warham hum wa afihim. Wa akrim nuzulahum. Wa wasir mudhilahum. Wa abdil hum darun khairan bin darihim. وَزَوْجٌ خَيْرًا مِنْ زَوْجِهِمْ وَأَحْلًا خَيْرًا مِنْ أَحْلِهِمْ اللَّهُمَّ نَكِّهِمْ مِنَ الْخَطَايَا كَمَا يُنَكَّ الثَّوْبُ مِنَ الْدَّنَسِ وَاَخْسِلْهُمْ بِالْمَاءِ وَالسَّلْجِ وَالْبَرَدِ اللَّهُمَّ حَاسِبْهُمْ حِسَابًا يَسِيرًا اللَّهُمَّ أَدْخِلْهُمْ جَنَّةَ مَعَ الْأَبْرَارِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make their graves as rawzatil jannah. Make their graves as the gardens of jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the temporary separation, this temporary separation from all our deceased, it hurts us. Allah, it is painful for us. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bless us all. On the day of resurrection, reward us all and gather us all in the gardens, in the palaces of Jannah. Rabbi ibn li'ayinda ka baitan fil Jannah. 
ربنا هب لنا من ازواجنا وذرياتنا قرة اعين واجعلنا للمتقين اماما واجعلنا للمتقين اماما متقين اماما او gracious او almighty الله bless our families bless our family members with all your choicest bounties make our husbands our the coolness of our souls and of our, our hearts and make us make us us wives source of happiness and contentment for our husbands bless our husbands the best of health the best of faith and the best of all what is hereafter and here in this world help us all guide us all to develop all the all the attributes of the best wives of the best muslim wives make us all hafizat qanitat salihat rabbana hab lana min ladunka rahma innaka antal wahhab rabbi hab li min ladunka zurriyatan tayyibatan ربي حب لي من لدنك زرية طيبة إنك سميع الدعاء. Oh listener, oh listener of all the prayers, oh mighty Allah, oh kind Allah, oh merciful Allah, you who listens, who answers, who blesses us with all our prayers. accept all our prayers for our children accept all our prayers which are good for them which are sound for them which we we pray for our children those those of my sisters of my daughters who are asking for sons who are praying for sons bless them with sons those who are longing for daughters bless them with pious daughters and those of my sisters who are who are desirous of grandchildren allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them with healthy normal and pious believing children believing grandparents grandchildren and all of us o oh allah o oh allah our sustainer our creator you with all your bounties and blessings you who have blessed us with children with sons with daughters allah make our children pious make our children god fearing allah bless them with taqwa and piety Allah bless them with taqwa and piety. Bless them with a perfect belief. Bless bless them with bless them with the best of belief and iman. Bless them with the knowledge of Quran and hadith. Oh Allah, bless our children with the knowledge of Quran and hadith. Allah we repent we regret that some of ourselves we wronged ourselves a part of our lives was deprived of Quran we stayed away from Quran but Allah we beg you we beg you to not deprive our children from the knowledge of Quran to not deprive our youth from the knowledge of Quran and hadith make them the scholars of Quran the teachers of Quran the preachers of Quran make them the believers of Quran make them the followers of Quran allah be kind to all of us allah extend your mercy on all of us and choose from our children I choose and pick out from all from all of our children to be those who those to be those who are who are those who proclaim for the salah 
those who call for salah, those who memorize the Quran, who memorize the Hadith, those who are the reciters of Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leave none of our offsprings, leave none of our offsprings deprived of Quran, of the knowledge of Hadith and Salah. Make our sons, make our grandsons of those who establish the congregational Salah. Allah help protect the belief, the faith, the honor, the haya of our children. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our siblings, the relations of kin, bless them all. Bless them all, the bless, the best here and hereafter. Save them from all the worries of all the illnesses of all the miseries of here and hereafter. O provider of all provision, O Razik, O Razak, O Razik, O Razak, O Rabbul Alameen, provide us all with halal provision. Help us, guide us towards the lawful earnings. Allahumma kfini an halalika an haramik. Allahumma kfini an halalika an haramik wa aghnini bi fadlika amman sivaak. Wa aghnini bi fadlika amman sivaak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and guide us to save ourselves, to save ourselves from unlawful earnings. Help, help our male members to earn easily, comfortably, honorably, ample ample of lawful earnings help us help us be content be grateful for whatever whatever sustenance you bless us with help us simplicity save us from wasteful means of spending oh allah there is no doubt that you are the shafi O oh Allah, O oh the Shafi Allah, help our sick, help our ailing patients. All my sisters and daughters and my companions who have requested to pray for their sick and for their ailing. O oh my merciful Allah, O oh my Shafi Allah Almighty, accept our prayers for our sick. All those who are suffering from malignancies, from hepatitis, from cardiac issues, from issues of the liver, of the kidneys, those suffering from, from painful, from painful joints. So many people, so many people have begged you for Shifa. Ya Shafi, so many of my companions have begged you for your Shifa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, complete Shifa. Bless them with complete recovery. Bless them all with complete recovery from all illnesses. A recovery that no illness remains. Not even a spot, not even a dot of the illness remains. Bless them with complete recovery, total recovery, easy recovery, quick recovery, smooth recovery. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also reward them the best for their tolerance and for their patience and bless them all with the best of iman and the best of belief. <laughs> In this time of acceptance, in this time where when our when our du'as, our prayers will be heard, inshallah, I beg you for my country. I I beg you, I beg you to protect my beloved country. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I beg 
take you to protect and take care of my beloved country. Allah help Pakistan. Allah protect Pakistan. Allah save and guard Pakistan against all the crises and all the calamities. Allah, all the social, all the economic, all forms of calamities, protect, protect my country, protect its boundaries, protect, protect its wealth, protect its mineral resources, protect the nuclear warfare <laughs> technology, protect our straight secrets. Protect my country. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless my country and bless all the Muslim countries of the Ummah. Bless all the Muslim countries of the Ummah with honest and God fearing, God fearing rulers like Hazrat Abu Bakr. Bless us and all the Muslim states of the Ummah with fear, with just rulers and judges like Hazrat Umar. Bless my state and bless all the Muslim states with brave, courageous, daring, Bless us and bless the Ummah with scholars like Hazrat Abu Huraira and Hazrat Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu ta'ala and who and make us all all women folk of Islam make us all be mothers like Hazrat Safiya, Isma, Hazrat Khansa, Hazrat Ifra radiallahu ta'ala and whom ajma'een make us daughters like Fatima radiallahu ta'ala and ha make us wives Make us wives like Hazrat Khadija, Hazrat Aisha, Hazrat Umm Sulaim, Hazrat Umm Dahta radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma. Oh Allah, you are the ruler of rulers. Oh Allah, you are the ruler of rulers. Oh Allah, you are the sovereign. Oh Allah, you are the mighty. Oh Allah, you are the master of masters. Oh, the ruler of rulers. Oh, the sovereign Allah. Help the Ummah. Help the Ummah. Protect the Ummah. Guide the Ummah. Guide the misguided Ummah. Unite the Ummah. Oh Allah, unite the Ummah. Allah, help the Ummah, protect and defend the Ummah, guide the Ummah of your Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Allah, unite our Ummah. <coughs> Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, we beg you. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, we beg you with with our hands raised, with, with all of us sobbing, with our hearts splitting with the pain. We all beg you with our hearts splitting with the pain of Ummah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help, help my daughters of Kashmir. Allah save their honor. Allah support the Mujahideen, my Mujahid brothers of Afghan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help them, protect them, all working in alliance with the Ikhwanul Muslimun of Egypt. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help them. Allah help them. The Jai leaders of Bangladesh who have been oppressed. 
who are being persecuted badly. Help my J.I. leaders. Allah, take care. Allah, take care of the orphans and the widows of the Syrian Muslims. Allah, oh Allah, oh our merciful Allah, listen to the prayers of the Palestinian mothers. Listen to the prayers of the Palestinian mothers witnessing the bodies of their martyr sons. Allah help the Mujahideen of Islam. Allah help the scholars of Islam, the preachers of Islam, the teachers of Quran. Allah help those. Allah guide those. Allah reward those, all those who are working for the implementation of Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us one of those. Make us one of those. Accept us all for the path of Allah. Oh Allah, you are our creator, our sustainer. You are our master. We are your slaves. You are sovereign. We are the subdued. You are eternal. We are the beggars. We are the beggars. Our decisions are at your disposal, Allah. Our decisions are at your disposal. Oh, glorified, we find no shelter save yours, no refuge save yours, no reliance save yours, no door save yours, no threshold save yours. Your player is our provision. Your forgiveness is our refuge. Oh, powerful Oh, the blessed, oh, the glorified, oh, the exaltless, oh, the faultless Allah. Hell, hell is a wretched abode. Hell is a wretched abode. Rabba Nasrif Anna Azaba Jahannam. Inna Azaba Kana Gharama. Innaha saad mustakarrum wa maqama. Its dwellers will neither live nor die. Who enters will be humiliated. Oh, forgive her. <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we fear the fire. We dread the food and the drinks of the hell. We fear the dresses and the beddings of hell. We dread the solitude, the anguish, the regrets of hell. The illnesses, the snakes, the scorpions, the hammers and maces of hell. Save us all from hell. Allah, save us all from hell. Save our bodies, our skins. From the hell fiber, save us, our families, our deceased, our descendants and our descendants, all from the hell, from the torments of hell. Forgive us, forgive us all. Forgive our major and minor sins, known and unknown sins, secret and manifest sins, oh Allah, forgive us all. Allah, you are all forgiving. You approve and you instruct of forgiveness. You are all merciful. Forgive us all. We beg you. We pray to you. <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with all our hands raised, with all our eyes pouring with all our hearts fearing 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray you, we beg you, forgive all what we wore. Forgive all what we saw, what we heard and was forbidden. Forgive and pardon all what we talked if we hurt someone. Forgive our arrogance. Forgive the envy of our hearts. Forgive our evils, our wrongdoings. Forgive when we were lazy. Forgive when we got forgetful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We admit we wronged. We admit we wronged. Allah, we admit. We confess. And we regret. Allah, we all admit we confess. And we regret. And we come to you with repentance. We've come to you with repentance. We seek forgiveness. Oh Allah, the forgiving, forgive all of us. We fear your torture and torments. We seek your shelter. We seek your shelter against hell. And we also seek your shelter against every action or every saying that leads to hell. Out of your mercy, forgive our sins. Out of your mercy, pardon our faults. Save us. Save us from the humiliation of that day. Allah, save us all from the humiliation of that day. If you don't forgive our sins, well, swell. Oh Allah, if you don't forgive our sins, who else will? If you don't shelter us, who else will? If you don't save us from hell, who else will? And if you don't bless us and reward us with Jannah, who else will? Rabbi ibni li'inda ka baitan fil Jannah. Allahumma ajirna minan nar. Allahumma ajirna minan nar. Allahumma ajirna minan nar. Allahumma as'aluka al Jannatu al Firdaus. Rabbi ibni li'inda ka baitan fil Jannah. Astaghfirullah Rabbi min kulli zambin wa atubu alayk. Rabbi ghfir wa arham wa anta khayru al-rahimin. Allahumma ghfir lana wa arhamna wa ahtana wa aafina wa arzukna. Allahumma ghfir lana wa lilmu'minina wal mu'minat wa lmuslimina wal muslimat. Allahumma alif bayna qulubihim wa aslih zata baynihim. وانصرهم على عدوك وعدوهم اللهم لعن الكفرة الذين يسدون عن سبيلك ويقذبون رسلك ويقاتلون أولياءك اللهم خالف بين قلمتهم وزلزل أقدامهم وأنزل بهم بقسق الذي لا تردوه عن الكوم المجرمين Fatir wa samawati wal ard, anta waliyi fi dunya wal akhira. Tawaffani musliman wa alhiqni bisualihi. Tawaffani musliman wa alhiqni bisualihi. Rabbana innana amanna, faghfir lana zunubana wa kaffir anna sayyiatina wa tawaffana ma'al abrar. Rabbana innana amanna, faghfir lana zunubana wa kina azab al-nar, wa kina azab al-qabri, wa kina azab al-qabri. وَقِنَا عَزَابُ الْحَشْرِ وَقِنَا عَزَابُ الْمِيزَانِ وَقِنَا عَزَابُ النَّارِ 
اللهم حاسبنا حسابا يسيرا اللهم اجلنا من النار رب ابني لي عندك بيتا في الجنه ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم وتب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله وصلى الله على محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين امين ثم امين